Genital mutilation has been nearly universally condemned. Dr. Levine, do you believe that minors are capable of making such a life-changing decision as changing one's sex? Transgender medicine is a very complex and nuanced field. As the Assistant Secretary of Health, I would look forward to working with you and discussing the particulars of the standards of care. I believe in two genders, I'm not mad at the rest. I'm just confused when a dude has a beard and some breasts. We won't always agree. No, I don't hate all beliefs. No, I don't think that the system's racist. I just think the system hates people. I think fighting violence with more violence is what they want. Viruses and riots, people dying, we won't stay home. Black lives matter, all lives matter. What's all this division for? It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil Burn the circus down, cause the world is full of clowns They're all stupid and they're proud, painted smiles on their mouths I don't hang with bozos, homie, I can't be around you Anyone who knows me knows my feet don't fit in clown shoes The witness refused to answer the question. The question is, should minors be making these momentous decisions? None of these drugs have been approved for this. They're all being used off-label. There's no long-term studies. We don't know what happens to them. Circus down, cause the world is full of clowns. They're all stupid and they're proud. Painted smiles on their mouths. I don't hang with bozos, homie. I can't be around you. Anyone who knows me knows my feet don't fit in clown shoes. They tell you be yourself and then they judge you on the internet till everybody hates you for it. If Jesus was alive, I swear to God that y'all would cancel him. Cause lately being negative is the real new normal. Yeah. If you're thick, you're fat, you're rich, you're bad, you're poor, you're black, you're white, you're whack, they lie, it's facts. My generation needs a bunch of free condoms, cause common sense ain't that common. This is what they wanted, this is how they planned it, this is to control everyone on the planet. Then we put each other in caskets, protest and panic, and they take advantage to manage the damage. We won't always agree, no, freedom doesn't come free, no, there was people fighting, dying overseas, so that you get that freedom and be home. The heroic law enforcement officer fighting to repel the terrorist attack that unfolded on the Capitol on January 6th. Black lives matter, all lives matter. What's all this division for? It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil war. Burn the circus down, cause the world is full of clowns. They're all stupid and they're proud. Painted smiles on their mouths. I don't hang with bozos, homie. I can't be around you. Anyone who knows me knows my feet don't fit in clown shoes. Well, I thought about uh, that question uh, in, uh, with, um, and uh, um, bigger, uh, you know, what, what, uh, I, I think, uh, you know, the, the president has, uh, who, uh, uh, I just haven't thought about that question. South Dakota is the only state in America that never ordered a single business or church to close. We never instituted a shelter in place order. We never mandated that people wear masks. We never even defined what an essential business is because I don't believe that governors have the authority to tell you that your business isn't essential. We never focused on the case numbers. Instead, we kept our eye on hospital capacity. Now, Dr. Fauci, he told me that on my worst day, I'd have 10,000 patients in the hospital. On our worst day, we had a little over 600.
The only way to spare more pain and more loss, the only way these millstones no longer mark our national mourning, these milestones, I should say, no more no mark our national mourning. I'm eager to hear, I'm eager to hear, I'm eager to hear next from my good friends, from 400 million order to 600 million. This is enough vaccine to fully vaccinate 300 Americans by end of the summer to beginning of the fall. But we want to make, look, that's, I want to repeat, it'll be enough to fully vaccinate 300 Americans to beat this pandemic. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Round the clock sex. Everybody knows I like kids better than people. Round the clock sex. Kids jumping on my lap. And I love kids jumping on my lap. I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool. And I love kids jumping on my lap. Come on, man. together. We began it together four years ago, and it is far from being over. We've just started. One of the most urgent issues facing the Republican Party is that of ensuring fair, honest, and secure elections. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So nice. But we need strong leadership. We cannot have leaders who show more passion for condemning their fellow Americans than they have ever shown for standing up to Democrats, the media, and the radicals who want to turn America into a socialist country. Instead of attacking me and, more importantly, the voters of our movement, top establishment Republicans in Washington should be spending their energy in opposing Biden, Pelosi, Schumer, and the Democrats. I've said to some of them, I said, you know, during the Obama years and now during Biden, if you spent the same energy on attacking them, you'd actually be successful, as you do on attacking me in many cases. The Democrats don't have grandstanders like Mitt Romney, Little Ben Sass, Richard Burr, Bill Cassidy, Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, Pat Toomey. And in the House, Tom Rice, South Carolina, Adam Kinzinger, Dan Newhouse, 
Anthony Gonzalez, that's another beauty. Fred Upton, Jamie Herrera Butler, Peter Meyer, John Katko, David Valadeo, and of course, the warmonger, a person that loves seeing our troops fighting, Liz Cheney. How about that? With your help, we will take back the House. We will win the Senate. And then a Republican president will make a triumphant return to the White House. And I wonder who that will be. I wonder who that will be. Who, who, who will that be, I wonder? Standing before you today, I am supremely confident that for our movement, for our party, and for our country, our brightest days are just ahead. And that together, we will make America prouder, freer, stronger, and greater than it ever has been before. Thank you, CPAC. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you all. Thank you. Scientist, it was a bit surprising if the girl blinded me 